Since Namibia started experiencing the second wave of infections, regional positive cases listed Thomas and Tara's regions as the most worrisome. From the latest 2,896 confirmed cases over the past 16 days, Thomas accounted for 1,792 of those, while Taras came second with 491. Usually, government would develop specific responses for areas considered as hotspots, as it did with three local authority areas in the Erongo region, as well as Ventuk, Ogahanja, and Riaboth during the peak of the first wave of COVID-19 infections. The responses included lockdowns and curfews, which heavily impacted the lives and livelihoods of the residents in those towns. In turn, government faced a heavy backlash from businesses, which rely on tourism operations, which were then considered non-essential and closed during the lockdown period. We assisted. Criticism was there. That economy is going down. People are suffering. Do something to address both. That's what we're trying to do. Now that Thomas and Clara's regions are leading the second wave of infections, government, although it was expected by some, didn't seal off the regions from the rest of the country and declared them as hotspots. Debating it, pros and cons, whatever lockdown, ventured, the whole country declare state of emergency, which I warn, I can come back anytime and do it, because I have the power to declare it for seven days only, in absence of the parliament. We discussed that. We left that as an option. The infections in the localities of Thomas and Taras are rather sporadic, is the explanation provided by the health minister in defense of government for not locking down the regions. Therefore, country-wide containment measures would continue to apply. Like we had in Karas, we had the world, um, Luderitz as one of the hotspots in the Karas region, not the whole, not the whole. Uh, but also to state that when it comes to commerce, there are no specific place where you can say that this is where the concentration of cases are coming from. It's diffusely uh, spread over uh, suburbs. Although some lobbied for a lockdown, others supported government's consideration against closing of the country. I am very happy that he hasn't put us on another lockdown because I don't think we can survive it. Not emotionally, not financially, not physically. Major towns in Thomas and Taras usually become depopulated during the festive period as people travel to their holiday destinations. Infections are likely to increase in remote areas too should compliance to health protocols fail. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Ventuk.